too old, too dead. I can't understand it. Where are all the good men? I think they're out with all the bad women. No, I've got a theory about that. There are no good men. It's just a plot to keep women on diets. My God, look at that guy over there in the red shirt. Nice buns. Ooh la la, Cecil. Oh, I don't know. There's something funny about him. Oh, I don't think he's gay. No, I don't mean gay. What would he be doing here? Same thing as us, picking up men. <laughs> no. I think he reminds me too much of Frank. Frank? Your ex? Mm. No, I don't see it. Well, here's our chance to find out. All that staring paid off. He's coming over here, huh? What? <gasps> oh, my. He is. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes what? That's up to you. <laughs> so, I haven't seen your face before. Are you new around here? I'm Randy Howard. I'm going to be living here. I'm Dot Bailey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and this is Elaine Monty. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Dayton, Garden City of the Midwest. <laughs> well, if you two are an example of the flowers, I'm going to like it here just fine. This guy's good. Very good. <laughs> So, Randy. Randy, Randy, Randy. <laughs> Must be very difficult for you. Coming to a new town, all alone. Are you all moved in yet? Well, I'm just getting around to it. W would you like some help with anything? Dot and I are a whiz at putting up shelves, breaking down walls. Anything. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I could use a little help. Could you cash this check? I realize it's a two-party out of state. And I know my ID doesn't really look like me, but I swear it's good. Now I know why he reminds me of Frank. take for lunch? Lunch money. <laughs> I made you that yesterday. Today's meatloaf. Mom, I need you to play softball with me Sunday. Well, oh, honey, I'm not real good at softball. Please, it's a school's father and son game. You gotta. Timmy, you're probably too young to notice, but I'm not built like a father. <laughs> you better than nothing. <laughs> That should get me through the day. <laughs> I mean, I just don't want to embarrass you. Okay, forget it. I'll just go alone. All alone. <laughs> You're getting real good at that, aren't you? Then you'll go? Yes. Great, Mom. It'll be fun. Mom, would it be okay if I went on a camping trip this weekend? We'll see. Thanks, Mom. Well, I better get to school. Bye. Hold it. Camping in the woods overnight? Yeah, bye. Who's going? Marcy, Elise, Judy, and me. Bye. Just you four girls all alone? Forget it. It's too dangerous. Well, we're not exactly going to be alone. Who? Rob, Fred, Kevin, and Jack. <laughs> Allison, those are boys. I'm counting on that. <laughs> you can't go. But that's not fair. You never let me do anything. 
Allison, I know what a teenage girl feels like. I just don't want the boys to find out. <laughs> I look like that. That's Christy Brinkley. That's right. Would you settle for David? Uh, I uh, I don't know. Now, do, do you think it's me? Of course it's you. I don't think it's me. Oh, it's definitely you. I don't think so. Well, it sure the hell ain't me. How are you doing, Helen? What? You're a real pain. Huh? Good. <laughs> Dot, where have you been? You're late. Elaine, do you still want to have kids? Oh, it's been that kind of a morning, huh? Put Denise down at 2 o'clock for me tomorrow. Hey, honey, that's going to be fourteen fifty. Now, if my husband says it's not me, your history. <laughs> Helen's already dry. I had to cut and set her for you. Thank you. How's she doing? Same old story? Hmm. Still fighting with Larry. Don't people know when they've got it good? Well, that's right. You used to have a little thing for Larry way back when, didn't you? I did not. It was a big thing. <laughs> okay, Helen, you're dry. Come on, let's make you beautiful. Oh, Dot, you're just the person I want to see. I'm so desperately unhappy. Should we dye your hair black? <laughs> I've just had it with Larry. The man has never accepted me for what I am. What are you? Well, that's the problem. I've been trying to find out if he'd let me. Well, I've got feelings. I read books. I give money to Indians. <laughs> Helen, you've been complaining about Larry for years. He's been a jerk for years. <laughs> don't you think you're being a little rough? Oh, you don't know what he's like. All he wants from a woman is shop, cook, make love. Shop, cook, make love. Which part don't you like? <laughs> I need a new life. You know, Helen, a lot of women think Larry is a great catch. He's attractive, he's intelligent, he's a dentist. He spends 45 minutes every night flossing his teeth. <laughs> What's he got growing in there anyway? <laughs> oh, Doc, do you have a second? Sure, Danny. You know, I haven't been here that long, and I just wanted to get some feedback. <laughs> <laughs> on how I was doing. <laughs> You're doing great. She screams like this every week. Would you fix up Alice, please? <laughs> I tell you, Dot, I've just had it with Larry. Maybe you should see a marriage counselor. Oh, it's too late for that. I kicked Larry out of the house and filed for a divorce. You're kidding. Oh. <laughs> He's made my life miserable. Oh, that's heaven. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dot. You're such a great listener. Well, you make it easy. You're such a great talker. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bye-bye. You hear that? We're getting a divorce. No, that's terrible. I know. Awful. Now's your chance. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think maybe it's time you went and had a dental checkup. <laughs> Elaine, he's still a married man. I'm asking for trouble. Well, your life could use a little of that kind of trouble. Besides, he's getting a divorce. The body's still warm. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> when a man is coming out of a broken marriage, he doesn't want to jump into another relationship. No, no, no. This is a time when a man needs warmth and support and a woman's comfort. He's a sitting duck. <laughs> hey, I've been trying to politely eavesdrop, but it's a little too noisy in here. <laughs> Let's dish the dirt. <laughs> Dot is setting her sights on Larry Worth. Larry Worth? Dr. Larry Worth? Mary Dr. Larry Worth? <laughs> All right, girl. <laughs> Cleo, you're not helping. Oh, come on. When it comes to finding a good man, there are only two places I don't look. The monastery and the mortuary. <laughs> He's getting 
getting a divorce, Dot. What's the problem? I used to go out with a divorced man. How was it? Weird. I went to his apartment one night, and I caught him in bed cheating with his ex-wife. That's not really cheating. That's more like reminiscing. Elaine, he's on the rebound. He'll always be comparing me to Helen. But sometimes you just have to go for it, Dot. I don't know. By this point in my life, I was supposed to have a husband, a station wagon, a cat, a dog, two kids, and little fruit magnets on my refrigerator. <laughs> All I've got are the little fruit magnets. <laughs> then why don't you go for him? You're the one who always had the crush on him. Yeah, but he never crushed back. Well, you never know about men. Sometimes they just don't want to show you how much they like you. <laughs> that happens to me daily. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel funny chasing after a guy. Yeah, come on, you guys. We're treating Dot like she's desperate. Are you, Dot? <laughs> well, get off the pot and go for it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really having trouble thinking about this. Why? I think I'm getting a toothache. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Doc Bailey, are you my 415? Hi, Larry. I came straight from work. <laughs> Thank you so much for squeezing me in today. Well, it sounds like a pretty severe toothache. Oh, please. You been taking care of your teeth? I floss after every meal. Do you? <laughs> and 45 minutes before I go to bed. <laughs> it does feel good, doesn't it? <laughs> you just sit back and relax. So, Hogan, please, tell me about your life, Dot. I've got two kids and a broken disposal. Oh, you're married. Not anymore. Well, Hogan, sometimes those things just don't work out. Well, Frank and I were so different. I just wanted to be a normal housewife. You know, shop, cook, make love. <laughs> I just don't know why Helen doesn't feel that way. Well, Larry, what do you mean? <sighs> <laughs> Helen and I are getting a divorce. Oh, my God, what a shock. <laughs> Doesn't Helen realize what she's losing? Well, maybe it's not Helen's fault. Maybe I failed her. Oh, I don't think you could fail anyone. Well, why do I feel so lousy? Because you're all alone. You need someone who cares. Someone who understands. Someone who flosses. <laughs> you know, I feel better talking to you. I mean, it's such a confusing time for me. I, I don't know who to count on. I don't know who my friends are. I mean, I don't know who's being straight with me anymore. Oh, Larry. But to find a woman like you now, that really restores my faith. Larry, I lied. <laughs> what do you mean? I already heard you and Helen were splitting up, and... Well, you know I always liked you. I figured it was the perfect time to pounce. I'm really sorry. Oh, wait, wait, you mean, you mean you actually went after me? <laughs> the last time I wore a dress this tight was at traffic court. <laughs> <laughs> well, Don, I'm flattered. I mean, I, I can't tell you how good that makes me feel. You mean honesty worked? Well, the dress didn't hurt either. <laughs> Anytime you need somebody to talk to, I'm available. That's great, Dot. And I can tell you, we're going to be spending a lot of time together. Really? Absolutely. Your mouth is a mess. Making waves. 
You want to change your 2 o'clock appointment tomorrow to 4 o'clock. Okay, well, let's see. I'll have to move my 4 to 3, and my 3 to 5, and my 5 to 6, and my 6 I'll have to refer to another shop. <laughs> sure, no problem. Sorry. <laughs> well, when you go for it, you don't mess around. It was a very formal checkup. How did it go? He asked me over tomorrow night. Oh! We've only got 24 hours. Do something. <laughs> well, that outfit didn't do it. He's been standing too close to his x-ray machine. <laughs> so? So, Dot scored. Yo, Jenny! She hooked him! <laughs> Will you guys calm down? Uh, okay, let's have it. Well... I really like him. He's nice, he's warm, he's sweet. Does he have a brother, a father, a cousin? I guess so. He's mine. Might <laughs> sure like to meet some new guys. Oh, please. <laughs> you were born with a date to the prom. <laughs> hey, you don't know anything about me. Nobody's complaining. <laughs> Everybody thinks that because I'm sort of cute and have kind of a nice figure, I never stay home alone. I don't have a date tonight. I'm talking years. <laughs> you win. So, where is he whining and dining you? Well, first I have to go back to his office so he can finish examining me. I like it so far. <laughs> My teeth. He found a couple of cavities. But then he's taking me to a fancy French restaurant. Uh-oh. Well, give me those paws, girl. <laughs> See, and you didn't want to do this. I know, Elaine. You were right. He's really special. I think we're going to hit it off. To a beautiful evening with a beautiful woman. To us. Your <laughs> dress. <laughs> Permanent plus. <laughs> Permanent plus. <laughs> Polyester. <laughs> Right. Are you sure you're up for dinner? Maybe I shouldn't have done four cavities at once. <laughs> Don't be silly. My mouth dipped a little bit swollen. <laughs> Monsieur, you'll stay. Madame, you'll sue. Mm. It looks delicious. <laughs> Be careful, your mouth might be a little sensitive. Look what you're putting yourself through. Why don't, why don't you let me take you home? Mm, not now. Waiter. Yes. <laughs> not waiter. Waiter. Yes? <laughs> Leave me alone, please. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry. Dot, you've got gumbo on your chin. Oh. Oh. Dot, well, it's not that bad. Larry? Helen. Lori, what are you doing here? Oh, I, I have a date here. Uh, come on up. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Dot! Oh, how 
one don't be angry, please. <laughs> hey, your hair looks great. <laughs> you look very good, Helen. Dot, you did a great job. Would you care to join us? Ah, uh, all right. Uh, Bud, I'd like you to meet Larry and Larry's date, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Does your mother know you're out this late? <laughs> we met at the lawyer's office. Uh, Bud's getting a divorce, too. <laughs> so, how long have you two been seeing each other? Hmm? Oh, Dot stopped by the office yesterday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I saw Dot yesterday, too. <laughs> Small world, isn't it? <laughs> Doc appreciates all the work I do. Oh? Mm. And I don't. Uh, who put you through dental school? And who paid you back a hundred times over? Who never wanted your money? I j <sighs> Look, it's silly to fight. It's over. It's over. Live and learn. <laughs> and you have to go on with your wife. Oh, no. You think so? <laughs> Maybe you're right. After all, Helen, you are still my wife. I know that, Larry. Not so fast. You misunderstood. <laughs> That's right. We never made the effort to understand each other. Well, listen, listen. Yes, I could try to listen more to you. Do you mean that? Yes. Oh, Larry, that's all I wanted to hear. Well, then maybe we shouldn't give it up so easily. Come on. Let's go home. I miss you. Larry, what about me? Then I'll see you Wednesday morning. We still have two cavities left. <laughs> I can't believe what happened here. <laughs> How'd the game go? We won, and Mom was great. Oh, I struck out four times, broke a nail, and somebody accused me of throwing like a girl. <laughs> yeah, but you really put his father on the team. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jimmy. Oh, next week we're playing touch football. I'll go. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Timmy, why don't you go take a bath? A bath? Yeah, and after that, take a shower. <laughs> hey, the sink's working. Yep. I fixed the disposal, too. How'd you manage to do that? If I stay single much longer, I'll be able to fix a nuclear submarine. <laughs> Anybody else hungry? Yes. yes. So, were there any cute guys at the game? Yeah, but they were all married, and you know I would never go out with a married man. Well, it was worth a shot. Next time you shoot it. <laughs> you no, know, Mom, I've been thinking. Maybe the reason why you're having so much trouble finding a guy is because they're afraid of getting involved with so many responsibilities around here. I guess what I'm trying to say is, are you sorry you had Timmy? <laughs> No, I'm happy I had both of you. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Do you think that there's one special guy out there for every girl? Absolutely. Mine is living with Joanne Woodward. <laughs> See, it's more fun being with your girlfriends than out with a man. Women are more sensitive. We're more understanding. We're more mature. More honest. So, what do you want to do tonight? The usual. Look for guys. 